Welcome to Plasma Treat here at Productronica. I'm delighted to be joined by Nico Conan. Uh, great to see you again, Nico. Hi, Trevor. Good to see you. Yeah. So um, last night um, you were fortunate to win a Global Technology Award for a new technology that you have here uh, based around a Redox tool, a Redox tool. Uh, can you explain to our viewers in a bit more detail uh, what's involved with that tool and what, what its advantages are? Yeah, I mean, in, in the past, I mean, uh, using plasma to get rid of oxide has been there in, in chamber plasma for a long time. Yeah. Um, basically, now we have really brought something uh, to the market where we can do it as an inline process. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, the tool um, that you will show, basically, you can see that there are like three stages. We have um, uh, a heating stage. Yes. Uh, it is not necessary, but it helps to uh, um, move the process a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. Then we have a stationary plasma jet, uh, which has, uh, in this particular case, 135 millimeter treatment width. Okay. So we can put one head fix, mm -hmm. and then basically the parts would just go underneath. Okay. And then we have, a, as a third, we have a cooling stage. Mm -hmm. uh, making sure that when uh, the parts are uh, cleaned, that they don't reoxidize again. Right, right. And, and do you use a special gas or anything on the on Yeah, the we, we use uh, nitrogen to flood the tunnel, making mm -hmm. sure that all the oxygen is out. Yeah. And then as the process gas, we use a forming gas, a 95.5% uh, formulation. I see, I see, okay. And so that, so, so therefore you're, you're putting through the applications that we're going to be looking at is, is basically to try and do basically solder this interconnection. Uh, well, basically, um, uh, one of the major applications is uh, fluxless processing. Yeah. So basically, uh, flux is removing oxides. Right. Uh, but the negative side is that flux has residues. That's and true. if bump pitches go down and down, uh, removing those flux residues becomes impossible. Yeah. So people are looking at ways, okay, how can we uh, remove oxides uh, without flux? Mm -hmm. And plasma is one of those. Right. So yeah. we have been successfully uh, basically treating uh, packages mm -hmm. uh, with very small bump sizes and uh, have been able to uh, bring down the oxide level to uh, um, to a level where it is bonding without the flux process. Right. Well, that's that's significant because, as you say, with the geometries decreasing all the time, uh, you know, the, the flux is just a, it's just a, a messy substance that gets in the way of everything. <laughs> I think it has been nobody has liked flux <laughs> in our industry, but we we. Everybody had to use it because there was no alternative. Right. Now it looks like uh, there are some alternatives uh, mm -hmm. popping up. I mean, there were already uh, different alternatives like formic acid. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. um, but then again, formic acid is something not everybody would like to have on the production floor. So right. uh, the plasma is a much more environmentally friendly, friendly. Uh, process than uh, chemical gases like right. uh, citric acid or formic acid. So, right. Okay. So just just to be clear, you're you're taking that oxide layer off of the, the solder balls. Uh, before before you uh, reflow them or, or the well, it's not a reflow process. No, no. Basically, no, no. it goes to a thermal before. compressing bonding uh, process. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so so that is one big application. The other big application that we have is in the power modules, right. where a the lot IGBT. of uh, direct dire, yeah, IGBTs, where a lot of uh, direct copper bonding uh, mm -hmm. happens. A lot of copper, uh, a lot of uh, different process steps like uh, wire bonding, die bonding, sintering. And uh, all these process steps will reoxidize the copper again, mm -hmm. and making sure that every process step is similar. Uh, oxide removal again is there a big, uh, yeah. big thing? Right, right. Well, so that's two big applications for you. I, I guess you're, um, you, you know, you, you look. At, have you got any early adopters on it yet? Yep. Yeah. Basically, both of the applications came through collaboration with uh, tier one customers. Okay. So basically our development has been driven by their needs mm -hmm. and we have worked very closely together both on the power module market as on the semiconductor market with uh, key uh, suppliers there. Right, right. Wow. Well, congratulations and uh, congratulations on winning the award last night. Uh, it seems well deserved. So uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. For micro dispensing, there is one product line that is proven and trusted by manufacturers in semiconductor packaging, electronics assembly, medical device, and electromechanical assembly the world over. DL Technology, superior pumps and needles for the finer things in life.